Hello again. Well, she's been away for a while, but Femi OK is back this week on the show and we'll find out straight away what she's got for us, Femi. Timmy, I can only imagine our invitations were lost in the post because South African Fashion Week was held recently and the main venue in Johannesburg, there were some criticisms about the fashion shows being held there for being Eurocentric and somewhat elitist. But the off-site shows, two black designers created quite a stir. So stand by for perky young ladies wearing no foundation garments and the beautiful young people of South Africa, plus of course our own dedicated follower of fashion, Paul Tilsley reporting. The collections of Durban's Craig native are making fashion headlines around the world. He's right up there already in Europe with DKNY and Diesel. Why? Natives are reality check. I've seen muggings. I've actually assisted in helping people get out of a mugging. I've, I've seen people get stabbed. I've seen poor people on streets. I've, I've even slept in a squatter camp um, once. So, I mean, it's about what we're really all about. It's about the reality um, and, and not just the, the, the facade and, and the way people always try and make fashion to be this quite elitist um, kind of frame of mind. Native's clothes are funky, shocking, avant-garde, loved by Europe's TV presenters, stocked from Amsterdam to Oslo. Arguably, for the first time, they're the cause of European buyers flying into Africa to buy literally as much as Native's team of 100 can make. He's the first South African designer that has the potential to make it big internationally. Native dresses his look-alike, rock star Lenny Kravitz. He promotes the life many South Africans only aspire to. His is a colorless dream. And while Craig Native's been exciting Europe, relative newcomers, Loksh and Culture, have been working South Africa's fashionable youth up into a frenzy. And tonight's their night. Come with us now to the very first major catwalk show of Lokshan culture. And what a powerful, wild and different show it was. Bursting with music, dance and the real feel of township, or as it's known by residents, location, indeed Lokshan culture today. We are producing good quality products that are expressing exactly what our culture is about. Now, we may not have a lot of zebra skin on our clothes, but we're definitely African people making African clothing. Applause for style. High marks, too, for honesty from Lokshan Culture's other designer, Wandian Zamandi. It's not really what I wanted to do, but um, my friend and I just didn't have any money. And it, it was a, all of a survival thing. Most of our friends were... You know, at school, we couldn't afford school. Some of them were doing crime. It's time for, the, for, for everybody else in the world to know exactly what South Africa is really about. And I'm talking about the, the, the fun part, you know, the entertainment, the lifestyle, what people eat, how people talk, uh, how people dance. Um, and, 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 and I think, not to say that the, the world is bored with what, what's been happening, but I think bringing this newness from South Africa will, will, will really be an, an eye-opener. A newness that is not the high fantasy of the traditional Eurocentric catwalks, but the reality of life on the continent right this minute. Like royal Paul Tilsley, Inside Africa, Johannesburg. Thank you very much. That was Paul Tilsley wearing this season's black, which was black. Thank you very much, Paul. That was an excellent, excellent story. We did enjoy that. And I'm just going to practice my model sachet. Here's to me. See you next week. Oh, my goodness. Femi, please try not to do that too often, OK? Well, that's our look inside Africa for this week. I'm doing my couple of nice watches.